Hey guys, welcome back to a special episode of Do It Yourself Toothless Blues Boy. I'm going to go over uh, how I made a quick little do it yourself homemade quiver using some Pringles cans. So, what I do is cut the bottoms off of those and I taped them all together. And I've got a nice little arrow tube there. And then, in order to support that, because I've done this with coffee cans also. And the problem becomes they want to tend to bend to the shape of your back. So what I did is I took some of this real heavy duty cardboard tubing for some carpet or something. Cut it down to size and I cut a small section and splined it to my tube. So now I've got a really good backbone. And this will face, my backbone will face outward to the world so it's not up against my back or getting absorbent sweat or anything. So moving on to the strap part of my quiver, this uh, Hoyt bag naturally had a little hollow tag and so I ran a nice piece of elastic all the way through there and then wrapped it around, tied it off and this comes all the way down. This would be my chest strap, comes all the way across my chest and temporarily because I did run out of tape, I was only able to get three quarters of the way up the seam and uh, had to cut that one short. And I still need to fold these down over and glue them down in, but I'm pretty much done. And I'll uh, show you what that all looks like. But also, wanted to make mention of these small coffee tubes. I use them for all kinds of things. I, I hate throwing a bunch of stuff out. I try not collect and save too much stuff. But if you cut them in the right spot, they'll fit together real nice. And they make really nice arrow tubes. So the same concept I'm using for the quiver I've also done a couple of different storage tubes with. Goes on like this, and it hangs real nicely. Take my arrows. Now, when I'm shooting and I release, I'm right there for my next arrow. That's how I like them. When I'm doing Olympic style, I like them have them down at my waist because the way I load the arrow. But when it's, uh, when it's bare bow, especially for standing in the creek and being out in the, in the wild somewhere, got this nice strap. I like this system a lot better. So there you have it, folks. That's the official do-it-yourself bare bow homemade quiver. Hope you enjoyed my insanity today. Remember, it's only going to get better unless you make it better. So go make it better, folks. Take care.